Good morning, everybody. It's been a while, hasn't it? So welcome to 8,000 miles south of London. We're in Falkland, and this is... Oh, is that a vulture? Oh, size of that thing. Oh, he's gone beyond the rock. So already we're seeing the wildlife. So that's my colleague, that's one of our um, air crew there, Bart, he's brought, he very kindly brought me down this morning. That was a bit touch and go whether or not we'd get out today because the weather forecast has been crap for today. And as you can see, there's a bit of a front just starting to push through. So hopefully we can get a few hours fishing in before that front hits us. Um, so I'm currently stood on the banks of the very world infamous um, frying pan. So we've got two targets species today, that being the sea trout and the Patagonian mullet, which isn't a mullet, it's actually a, a subspecies of blenny, but um, they can get quite big, seven, eight pound and bigger, I think. So I've got the fly rod with me in the car, um, but when we first got out, it was really windy, but we're a bit sheltered now, we're down in this cliff. So I've got my Dave Barr and spinning rod with me, and I've currently got a small repiler on there, and I've also got a nice selection of MEPS and some other spinners. So um, I'm going to get down, give it a go, the tide's on its way out, so as that moves on we can fish some of the pools a bit further over the other side there towards the cliff. But um, welcome to Falkland, it's an interesting place, very barren, very windy, and it looks like it's about to be very wet. So guys, take care, stay safe, tight lines, and hopefully we'll get some fish on the bank soon. And there's the vulture. Guys, tight lines, we'll see in a bit. All right, here we go, about to make our first cast into the pan. Just check my drag. Vulture's still there messing about. Right guys, I just had a follow right up here to this margin um, on a really slow recovery speed. So I'm gonna do exactly the same again, but he followed it within a rod's length of us. Crikey. <laughs> I'm just going to slow this down, swish it nice and slow. Right, we're just waiting across now. We're going to come and fish this channel just here. So, you've had a few fish then, before, haven't you, Bart? Mullet and trout. Straight into the wind. Sorry about the wind noise, folks. That channel runs along here. This back rock here. That cliff face is where it's deeper. So. Right, okay. Yeah. So cast. Yeah. Let's do it. You can come and have a cast in a second. <laughs> Seems you broke your rod. <laughs> oh, how was that for a cast? <laughs> Angler that I am, I'm letting Bart have a cast. Can't stand there letting him watch all the time. <laughs> yeah.
Brilliant, well done mate. We saw this fish rise. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's off. No way. But we know they're there. Yeah, yeah. Does it feel good? Yeah. Nice little fish there. Probably about a pound fish though, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Not but... No. It's a fish. Going to the bag, I'm going to get my little box of muchness out, my little box of maps. There's a few little rapalas and stuff in there as well. So we're just going to be working that little bay where we've just been fishing with Bart at the hookup. So I don't need any weight to get out for distance. So I'm just going to grab the box out. It's all falling out. There's all sorts. All right, let's take it down. See you back there, guys. Sight lines. Oh, and again, there's another big one following it up. Get it. You can see where he's shot off, look. You see he's... <laughs> see he's... Look, that's, that's how close he came in. You see he's puff silt. Some fish, man. No way. First cast as well. No way. <laughs> that was awesome. Right, we missed the take on camera, but I handed the rod to Bart. Literally, I was just about to say, I bet you get one first cast, and bang, that was a bloody good fish as well. well that was a two, three pound fish again. My God. Unreal. There's fish following it virtually every cast. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's keep going till we find the one that works. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, he came off it in fairness. Mm. Yeah, these were really neat and tidy, didn't they? Yeah. At one point. Past tense. I can always wear. <laughs> Leave you some of these quick blinks. So much easier than tying things on and off yeah, or funny yeah, around yeah, with swivels. Yeah. Do, you, do you find you lose a lot of strength though? No. no. No, not really. The only time I don't use them is if I'm using um, things like Ned. Have you ever seen a Ned rig? So you've got a flat jig head and then like a plastic worm and it sits up right. and then you pop it back and you're with the fluorocarbon lead, you're direct contact with the lead. Yeah. But with these, it you don't lose any strength whatsoever. So. And if if you're using something that hasn't got a swivel, yeah. um, then I always use a swivel clip, because otherwise you get a twist in the braid and you'll get wind knots. But because this has got yeah. twisting yeah. motion, yeah. it's not a problem. Obviously let go of the bell on, didn't it?
goldfish. There we go, fish on. Here we go, guys, fish on. Nice brownie. All right, mate, calm down. Ooh, he's off, he's off. Give you a wash. There we go. That. Beautiful. Falkland sea trout. First one. Do you mind getting a picture for me? I'll give you. Next one. Next one. Yes. There we go. The daddy now. Wicked. <laughs> well, that officially is the most southern I've ever caught a fish. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Officially, my most southern ever fish. Quite sleety, isn't it? Yeah. Alright guys, I think before we get hoofed out, we're going to say goodbye. Thanks for joining us guys, welcome to the Falklands, hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Enjoy the video, please press like, please subscribe if you haven't, please consider tight lines and we'll see you all very soon. Adios amigos. Cheers Bart. Ha <laughs> ha